What is going on guys? Politics Gaming here and today um, I am going to be doing a new gameplay. Today we're going to be playing as the People's Republic of China. Um, it's a country I haven't really played as. Um, seems to be a little bit easy. There's a lot of stuff that we can do with it. We can definitely expand on growth and expand our resources and stuff like that. So it is a um, big economy that we can actually take advantage of. All right, so um, I actually do not have the chat pulled up, so I'm going to pull that up right now. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and do a couple of things. I want to go ahead and sign some defense agreements with... Okay, military, great alliance. Let's go ahead and go for alliances with these nations. And let's go to Vietnam. Create an alliance. Alliance. There we go. And response will take a couple of days. You can do better. Your economy is among the healthiest. Your solvency may not be safe from depreciation. So we would like to reiterate our confidence mm. in you while recommending vigilance. <laughs> Let me remind you, in case you're unaware, that our assessment is mainly based on your projected budget deficit and your debt. Alright, so that's something we can actually improve in our credit rating. Um, China, talking about ICTs and stuff like that. Okay, so let's come over here. What can we develop? We got a lot of highways and trains that go throughout the country. Um... Not a lot, unless we really wanted to develop in the uh, Xinjiang and Tibet region. Um, however, those are very sparsely populated, and it's not possibly not a good investment. Um, however, there are a lot of cities in this area over here that are populated by hundreds of thousands, even millions of Chinese, that are not... Um, connected by trains so we could actually expand on that and also connect them to the highway networks um but that is um something that we could possibly look into let's go ahead and look at the beijing region let's go ahead and see its transportation factors um 1900 miles of um secondary highway along with 244 miles of high-speed train um no Main highway, actually, it does have main highway, but it, the game is not wanting to project on it. Um, so let's actually, I know exactly what the cut. Let's go to legislation. Let's go ahead and abolish the national service. That got rid of a lot of de deficit, a lot of our deficit. However, we still have a massive um deficit that we have to deal with. Let's go ahead and check out our debt situation. Public debt is 16% of the GDP. However, our deficit is $416 billion. That is about half of the United States deficit. Um, so it is something that we really do not want to mess around with. Um... Look at this. This is all the public debt that we have. Most of the public debt is actually literally owed to ourselves. We're owing that to ourselves. And, like, the United States, Japan, the United Kingdom, all of them owe about $4 billion. We owe them about $4 billion each. However, this is our credit status. We have a um, single A rating. However, with our own credit agency, the Qigong Credit Agency, we do have... Um, a triple A with that, obviously. Um, country of origin, China. But um, with quiche ratings, we have an A. With harshness and rules, we have an A. And with grumpies, we have...
sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, my head hurts. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god, what is that? What is that? Oh, oh my god. What in the world did I just see? Is that really the guy that we owe money to? Because I really want to kill myself. Okay, so what if... 17, 18, 19... Okay, so we can actually increase that to 20%. However... Um... Just wait until you pass November 2018. Don Blankenship has promised to work. <laughs> God. Alright, so what I'm going to do... We're going to increase this to 20%. It's going to help us a lot, a little bit. Um, it's going to wipe out about half of our deficit. So we're going to go ahead and call this the People's... What, have you never seen a deformed person before? I, I've... That, that is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I may have to... pull this up on my other monitor because my phone is not, um... doing what I want. Alright, so the low, wow, the low bracket in the People's Republic of China, they only have to pay 5%. This is a true communist paradise. Mm, real estate tax, we're going to go ahead and increase real estate tax to $20 per square meter. I'm going to increase that by a percent while I'm decreasing this by 1%. Yeah, the Republicans actually did um, do that. Wow. I'm increase that to 30%. However, that may hurt my business. Okay, so... Tax and company turnover, we can actually get a lot from that. Let's go ahead and increase that to 3%. I'm probably going to kill myself with all of this. However, it's wiping out my deficit, so we're going to go ahead and try it. Our tax on petroleum products is uh, getting us a lot of money. Um, so this is going to be very, very... However, I actually know something I can do. 2%. And I'm going to add that to the reform. Tax. What's our, what's our inflation? Um, Yeah, I actually realized that. I actually started, uh, in, I started uh, creating a VAT tax. I'm going to put this for $70 million per sector. Ah, oh, look at this. 10,000% 10, 10, in 2017 and only 43% in 2018. That's, that's hilarious. Yeah, I'm going to need a lot of uh, popularity in order to avoid the catastrophe that's about to happen. Um, so I'm going to have to come over here, increase something to health. Okay, I'm going to increase that by a star. Increase that to 1.5 million. So that only puts my deficit at 1.19%. Um, however, I can come over here, and this will actually give me a lot of money. 
So this is going to give me about $300 billion. Let's go ahead and do that. And let's go to the next day, see what happens. All right, that worked. So we still have a deficit, however, it is not something that I need to worry about at this time. Um, I am, however, going to go to the United States and I'm going to go ahead and sign up a contract. Let's go to here and let's go to aluminum, let's see what we can sell to the United States. Um, we have, we can sign this, um, I think we would be able to get a good amount even after they negotiate it, so I'm going to go ahead and put actually going to leave that at five years. Um, and send that over to the United States and popularity index. So, all right, we got our responses back from Laos and Vietnam. Uh, Laos refused our, um, pack, but Vietnam accepted it. So we are now allies with Vietnam. All right, we got a response back with from the United States, and let's go ahead and increase that to 140, and then let's go ahead and put that at 5-0. We're going to go ahead and try to get an exact $350 billion um, contract with the United States. And we can also sell them coal and steel. I know I can sell them steel because we have a a lot of coal and steel. So we're going to try to get some 1 trillion dollars in contracts with the United States. Okay, and then we're going to check our <clears throat> okay, Cuba and Venezuela are... Alright, so we got our contracts from the United States. This is the coal contract. And 645. We're going to get a great, great thing off of that. Let's go ahead and sign that. And they accepted our other one. $350 billion. Going to be very great for our economy. Annex... Okay, you know what? Instead of doing this for through my phone, I'm going to go ahead and get this on my other computer. Let's go ahead and switch this over. All right, that's a little better. Oh, man. Will you reunite, reunite Taiwan with the motherland? No, I'm not going to go through a war. Because what wars are too buggy in this game. Well, not buggy, but... Oh, man. So... Um... So we got coal, building housing, and roadway. I think building housing and roadway is probably going to be the most expensive thing we're going to be able to get with them. However, steel could still be a savior for us. We're going to get another $150 billion for that. We're going to go ahead and put that one in 1400 a ton. And... Well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go to diplomacy, and let's go to economy. We've got great contracts with the United States. However, this will only create a few jobs. That's funny. Where's our micromanagement? Hell, yeah, they are. Better price, profitable, sizable, and will considerably strengthen our economy. However, it is not good for unemployment. Um, will not have a significant impact on employment. Agreement negotiation. 1,200. Um, 1,300. Okay. And... Getting very, very good um, 
contracts with the United States. There are too many negotiations with the United States. <laughs> Whip assholes. Alright, so let's... Grand Communist Party, 2,987 seats. Date of next elections, 2022. Damn. I mean, I don't think there's any other party. I guess it just gives people the term of office budget capped. Campaign rallies capped. Military top, top brass are completely incompetent. You have to manage army entirely by yourself. You want the chance to win or do well. Yeah, true. It's not something that I like to do. That's why I usually like to avoid wars, because wars are literally horrifying. And they are just, again, you know, like you said, micromanagement hell. All right, so umpa immigration. Let's see what the immigration status is in our country. Three hundred one thousand people, like illegal immigrants, are leaving. That's funny. But our budget deficit is at under one percent, so that is good. Old folks. Work Iran. Let's go ahead and sign something with Iran. Create a military alliance. Let's go ahead and call for a support treaty. Um, yeah, but whenever you nuke them, you usually get thrown out of office. Well, and exemptions for enterprises using retirement by capitalization. Decree takes effect as of today. All right, so that is good. Um, agreement negotiation. Interlocutor has accepted. So um, did we pass our value-added tax? No, we didn't. So we're still going to catch hell for that. When is a people's reform passed? That passes in five days. So we are gps related. Burnishing capital working a lot better in it. Um, yeah, it's something. I kind of want to download a Masters of the World literally just to kind of kind of just play it, you know? All right, we just took out um, conscription. So we now have a completely professional army. Our deficit is just bouncing up and down it's just yeah taking the capital city is a uh, something that is always a uh, good or all consumers are not at its best purchasing power the working class limits them to buy basic necessities and stores are far from making money is therefore the economy will see that it'll set the pace no doubt that it'll be good to stimulate growth by relaunch of consumption uh what is going on republican gamer that oh wow we're gonna if we don't change anything <laughs> soon got a chair if we don't change anything soon we're gonna be incurring 100 billion dollars to our debt however we do have another triple a rating with um Let's see what the transportation situation is up here. Sure. Look at that little pipeline right there. You can just see it. Um, I think there may be something, a couple big projects that I want to do. I could just do a couple of airports and something. We can develop um, trade in the southern part of the country outside of Hong Kong and uh this area right here there's a uh, Hong Kong and 
Zhulong, it's Hong Kong Island. Okay, so Hong Kong is right here. 35 million people in 310 square miles, which is only 0 0.101. Will you extend highway network to central and southern China? Sure. I need to make something of a project anyway. Okay, let's go ahead and check the status of our highways down here. Yeah, um, ends abruptly north of the Yangtze. Yeah, I can see that. Um, yeah, it's completely developed by trainways. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and launch a couple of uh, highway projects. Um, uh, main highway. So let's go ahead and get... Okay, so we can actually get a direct highway connection from Hong Kong. And connect it to Zhulong. However, actually, coming here, transportation, main highway. Let's connect Nanjing to Guangzhou. It's going to be a $6 billion project, 49 months. However, we can get it done in 18 months. Okay, let's actually put max in there. $4.6 billion a year with $20 billion over the next five years. It's very cheap. Get it done in 16 months. Let's go ahead and see what our Minister of Transport thinks of that. Our excellent choices and what contributes to development of their region. Benefit this new infrastructure. Finally, the regions and cities served by this new freeway are excellent choices and cool, cool, cool. So, um, connections between uh, Guangzhou and Nanjing, great choices. And I'll also pass this through other cities, so um, something you actually want to do. Okay, so, okay, so we actually just passed that. Company tax has a swing to the right. Alleviate as much of the possible contributions paid by businesses. Ugh, they're, you're communist. You literally want to take everything. Speaking of communism, let's see what kind of things we need to we have nationalized. We have a good amount to nationalize, except for steel. Oh well, yeah, let's go ahead and make a highway connection. Shanghai. Okay, so we can connect to Shanghai. Um, okay, we can connect Shanghai to Nanjing. Actually, it's already connected by um, train. Probably a bad investment um, on the games end. However, we can c connect it to Wuhan, or we can connect it all the way to Beijing. You know what? I'll just connect it to Nanjing. One point two billion dollars. Get it done in five months. Okay, Tianjiang, Tiangong, company taxes a swing to the right. Um, Decrees relating to this reform are effective starting today. Okay, Sichuan province, um, I am not familiar with where that is. I have no idea what you're talking about, dude. Shandong, Fuzhong, Zhangji. Hunan, Guizhou, there's Guanghai. I mean, I mean, I, look, like there's, I mean, there's a right here. I could literally develop these regions with highway. Um, in Western and Southern China, it does look like there's a huge amount of just, there's no development in infrastructures.
to Shanghai, I literally connected something to Wuhan. Yesterday's police shooting in the town northeast of where I live was on the major networks. Uh, what happened? I didn't hear anything. Oh, there's Wuhan. Hubei? Sichuan? Sichuan sauce. There's Kong Ping. Kong King. Kong King isn't even developed, and it looks like a city state. Dang, that's a big region right there. Um, I am going to give more funding to here. Let's do that. Road transport and rail transport. Sixteen billion dollars. We can afford that and confirm. One point six percent um deficit. Tax on company turnover. That tax I can uh thirty five percent god. Can you imagine that? Yeah, sometimes it does. Clear attack. The amnesty or political session are particularly popular for minor offenses. For major offenses, there's a way of making the country more attractive, big capital, and discouraging their expatriation. I'm going to look that one up on Wikipedia real quick. Well, it's not talking about tax amnesty. Small offenses, that's going to cost us $21 billion. Uh, all offenses, wow. It's going to cost us $50 billion. Uh, I'm not going to go with the tax amnesty. Today, however, I'm going to see tax on war veterans. Uh, such as a minimum time spent in the combat zone. Real estate, $105 billion. I may have to reduce spending on some things if I want to get that deficit down. However, it is to a point where I really don't need to worry about it. But balancing the budget is honestly one of my main concerns whenever I'm playing a game. Um, by the way, guys, um, if you haven't seen my new video, um, I did put my um, Patreon. I'm going to order something from Russia. Let's see if the Russians want to sell me an aircraft carrier. Um, but I did um, put my Patreon and my Twitter on uh, YouTube, so please, guys, go um, Shanghai Nanjing. Good choices to promote their expansion. Nice. Apparently, my public finance is doing good. Sell all of your stuff. Oh, wow. Um, dang. Um, let's see what else we can sell to the United States. Um, but yeah, guys, I actually did put my, um, Patreon and my Twitter on here. So please, guys, go, um, support me on those, especially Twitter. I want to get a good amount of followers on Twitter. I want to get a good Twitter following. Twitter followings are always good. Buy oil from Saudi Arabia. Okay. Um, I'm going to sign a couple other trade contracts with the United States. And, God, I wish I could actually get them to visit, but, um, unfortunately, I cannot, because they hate me. However, I want to do trade. 1300 I actually didn't pay attention to what I was doing with, ooh, they actually want to sell it to me. Okay, so four and a half billion dollars. Let's go ahead and do it. We're gonna get it delivered to us by 2019, and we are now ordering a aircraft carrier from the Russians. Anyone have any good cryptos to invest in? I'm invested in a. Uh, 
um, Ripple, but um, it's not doing as good as I, as I want it to, um, unfortunately. And I'm just waiting for it to go up. So, but mostly it's all it's also because of a Bitcoin. It's not at the fifteen thousand that it was like a year ago. So. Let's check my growth rate. Let's go over here. Eight percent. Good, good, good. Stock market is at three thousand thirty five hundred. So Dow Jones is actually right there. Went from EXCC to Hush to BTC. Yeah, I've kind of been jumping around. Um, but right now I am invested in Ripple. Okay, sent the proposition, 1100. Yeah, let's go ahead and accept that steal agreement. And accepted. Oh, they actually accepted it. First off, that's good. I lost my access to my Twitter account. Visiting China is Germany working for me. That is why you're having issues. Go to CoinLinker. Okay, I'll look at them. Uh-oh. We have a riot. Pacifist Union in the... in Beijing. Alright, let's kick their asses. Let's get these guys to meet up. And then we're gonna... You know what? We can actually take them all on. Actually, these guys are coming right at us. God, I hate rights, because all these notifications pop up on you, and it's just it's annoying as hell. Wake up, there's a riot. I never got any news about it. Didn't even tell me. It was just like, oh, riot. I just noticed that. I was like, shoot. Hey, you can ban him. Uh oh. I do not pay attention to the terrorists as much as I should. Finance. Okay, so our stock market is leveling out. Growth is at. GDP is going up. Exportations, importations going. It's actually a level. Trade balance is positive. China has the biggest trade balance. That's why they have the advantage in the game. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and import some oil. Let's go to oil. Let's go ahead and import $183 billion contract for oil. And let's go ahead and send that over. Um by the way, guys, if you guys if you guys honestly have any suggestion suggestions for how I should run my channel like rewards for becoming a patron or something like that like i mean just send them out honestly cuz i'm trying to i'm trying to um become better and i'm trying to actually branch out and stuff like that so guys if you have any suggestions and also <clears throat> i want suggestions from anyone like not just patrons or whatever, like, uh, become, like, suggest, uh, what country I should actually do next. I'm actually looking, looking into what countries I should actually do next. <coughs> so, um, bought the YouTube and Twitter and then get more exposure. What? 
but yeah, um, just give me suggestions on um, what country I should do next. Housing. Wow. 51%. Yeah, that is that's a lot. Homeless rate is going down. We are now into our second month in the leader. Play Russia if you haven't already. Actually, I already have had a Russia series, but it uh, um, that was a while ago. That was that was like right after my Turkey series, and I actually ended my Russia series before um. My USA series because I wanted to get the USA series up and running, um, before or right whenever Trump was uh, inaugurated. I haven't done a China series. Damn marketing campaign to do it. it's like fifty to a hundred dollars. Shit, I don't got that much kind of money. Well, I do have a little bit on Patreon, but. Um, my Iran series was pretty much a failure. Yeah, I mean, I can do a little bit of marketing, honestly, because I haven't done that. Um, Sweden would actually be a good choice. Um, I could actually turn them into, um, like a right-wing thing. Um, I have not done India or Japan. I can do a Japan series because I know the economic situation is going to be very, 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 very difficult. Paying off that debt and trying to get a balance on the budget, that's going to be the hardest thing I have ever done. So Japan's going to be very difficult if I do that. It's an interesting concept, and I actually might lead it into economic failure. Um, Korea would actually be a good choice. Um, I could do North Korea or South Korea. And basically North Korea would just be me generalizing and, um, democratic, making a democracy throughout the country. Um, I, I can do Iraq. I think Iraq actually might be interesting. Um... When's our election? I think they actually have an election, like, right now. No, 92 days. Um, I would have to deal with an election. Wait a minute, are you talking about my coins or what countries PG should play? Well, this gamer. <laughs> um, I can do an Iraq series, because I, I generally really avoided Iraq and Syria. Because, um... See... Doing a rebel group, honestly, I really don't want to do that because it's just like, um, the reason I always play the countries is literally because, um, th the main goal of playing the opposition or playing the rebel group is literally to get in power. I can do a rebel group. I'm just going to... I've never done a rebel group before. I haven't even done it in my free time. Um, yeah, like, I've never done it in my free time. Because, um... And, I mean, if I do a rebel group... I can do, um... Something and just gain freedom you know, play Scotland or something like that. Um, uh, I can do the United Kingdom, because United Kingdom is a, in a pretty pickle right now. It's like, they're just really wanting to, uh, I don't know. Egypt, yeah, maybe. What's their situation right now? Wow, 10% deficit. CO2 emissions, 235. GDP per capita, 3,300. 114% debt. Um, so they're in a pickle too. Egypt, probably have to invade Israel, literally just get out of my 
situation. Um, Ireland, I know um, Gabe actually did an Ireland series. I don't want to be copying series. That's actually one reason why I wouldn't want to play India, because I know for First Centurion actually has a India series going on right now. Um, yeah, so I tried to play Saudi Arabia once. It's, they have like a, yeah, look at that, 12% deficit. Um, Zimbabwe, honestly, Botswana, Namibia, Angola, uh, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, maybe, Let's see what, national deficit, 0.3, um, Indonesia, yeah, maybe, because Indonesia actually has a interesting stature in the world. It's a huge set of islands. Um, I, I could possibly invade Papua New Guinea, because I know they don't have a military. Yeah. How much does uh, India, Indonesia have? Yeah, I would definitely be able to take out Papua New Guinea. Um, Austra I could I could re restart my Australia series, and go for a republic. Um. Yeah, Brazil. Federal Republic, two hundred ten million people, pretty big economy, lots of corruption. I would have to deal with. Um, big army. There's Mexico, there's Nigeria, Venezuela is completely out of the question. I'm gonna I'm gonna ban anyone who does that. I actually had a free game playing as Spain one time. Um their economy is pretty difficult. However, the only reason I really don't want to do that is because I there's really no room. Um, and that's kinda one reason why I wanna avoid Europe. Is literally because like there's no room to build. There's no room to build highways or trains or anything like that or airports because they're already built. I could do a France series, be um like in honor of Everson. Um, maybe maybe a France series. Um, the ones I'm really leaning toward maybe, um. Norway? Norway, I mean, they got a bunch of regions. The ones I'm leaning toward is uh, Norway, United Kingdom, uh, Ukraine. Ukraine, I could definitely um, do a Ukraine series. Um, Iraq, I can, I, can de I can probably do Iraq. Ethiopia, the People's Republic of China. Japan, Russia, Indonesia, or South Africa. Those are the ones I really kind of are in kind of looking at. South Africa actually has a lot of room to actually um, grow. So that's um, something that I could probably do. Pretoria is the capital. Uh let's check the situation in South Africa. Okay. So South Africa could possibly be a um country that I could possibly do um Finland, Kazakhstan. I tried to do Kazakhstan, but that was a failure. Um, I could probably take another look at Kazakhstan. Go after Uzbekistan or something like that. What's the size of Kazakhstan's army? 39,000 to 4,500. Sudan, um, they're in a pretty pickle too. 
National deficit, 4.2. Um, inflation is 15%. Unemployment, 13%. Growth is 3%. $95 billion GDP and 41 million population. Ethiopia could actually be something that I could do because they are one of the biggest investment opportunities in um, Africa because um, Ethiopia is... Um, there's a lot of Chinese investment. The Chinese are literally investing billions and billions and billions and billions of dollars into Ethiopia. And Ethiopia is basically the most, de um, one of, like one of the most developed nations in Africa. And if there was actually United Africa, um, it would actually be very interesting for um, Ethiopia because Ethiopia would be in the center of all of that. Ethiopia. Um, the capital of a United Africa would actually literally have, there'd be no other place for them, for it to be, except for in Addis Ababa, because Addis Ababa is home to the African Union, it is home to the, some of the biggest, um, African, um, organizations, so it is actually, um, Ethiopia is actually very, very interesting. Um, however, 3% deficit, 7% inflation, 15% unemployment, 7% growth. But a lot of, a lot of uh, opportunity to grow. You know what, I could actually take a take a moment to actually play Ethiopia to see what the situation would actually be like if I were actually to play them. Mexico. Um, let's go to Mexico. All right, let's see what the situation they're in. 129 million people, $1.1 trillion GDP, 50% um, debt, 2.3% uh, deficit, 2.5% inflation, 3.7% unemployment, um, 1.9% growth, and 1.42% of the world GDP. Um, there'd be a lot of room to grow. Um, I could definitely go after the crime rate. Um, hmm, I don't know. I think Mexico, South Africa, Ethiopia, China, Indonesia... In the United Kingdom, are in my possible next series. South Sudan is a definite no. Look at that; they're in a recession. Unemployment eleven percent. Inflation. Look at that: three hundred and thirty-nine percent. National deficit twenty-two point five percent. South Sudan is collapsing. There's no way I'm going to be able to fix them. There's no way. I'm not going to try that. I could try it just for literally shits and giggles. Yeah, South Sudan, I know they're in a civil war. I actually have a little bit of an insight in that conflict. Venezuela, let's look at them. 383% inflation, 40% deficit, negative 11% growth, 10% unemployment. Okay, so I need to go a couple of days because I actually haven't been looking at the development of what I've been doing. Look at that, no trade deficits.
all positive. That's funny. I would literally, I, I, I'm betting money that I would literally wipe all that out. See, it's already going down. Politics, how do I reduce inflation? I don't want any trade agreements. Um, reduce, tr reduce inflation by increasing taxes. And also, you can come over here. Increase the level of tax investigation. The investigation. All right, guys, I'm going to have to get off in a minute. But, yeah, literally all you have to do, literally just to, uh, oh, God, I hate this. Literally just to uh, decrease inflation, all you have to really do is increase the interest rate and, uh, Go after a couple of taxes, especially um, the company tax and um, increase the income tax. And then something I actually figured out, go after the tax investigation. But guys, I'm going to have to go ahead and get off. Um, so guys, if you like this, go ahead and like and subscribe. And I'm going to see you guys in the next one.